Hello! Welcome back to my channel! Thank you so much for being here! That was super sweet of you! Oh my goodness, I'm giving you guys luxury today. Feeling very glamorous in my little high collar Marshall shirt. I got the gold and black eyeshadow on today. The background's looking very luxurious aside from my unmade bed. Although, before you become judgmental and judge me for not having a bed made for a video, let me draw your attention to the little lump in the bed over here. Underneath this little lump in the bed is a baby. There's a baby in here. Look how freaking sweet he is. So you hopefully understand now why the bed looks a little messy. It's because there's a little baby cat man all bundled up in the bed. But that's not what this video is about. Out. You did not click on this video to find out that yes, I will go the whole day without making my bed if Bert is nice and comfortable in there. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in when it is worth it to buy luxury and when it's not. I would say it's likely no secret that I am a cheap lady, she says as she crosses her Old Navy jammy pants that I'm wearing with my fancy shirt here today. I don't like to spend a lot of money on stuff because honestly, I don't no, I think I'm a Virgo and I'm just always afraid that the world is gonna end and what I have in my savings account now is all I'm gonna have to survive through the zombie apocalypse. So I, yeah, that's probably the reason. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's no secret that I don't like to spend a lot of money. However, I do think that there are some scenarios and certain products that it is worth it to invest a little more money into. We're gonna be talking about makeup that I think is actually worth the higher price tag, also skincare, also jewelry, and I'm so, so excited to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. This is not my first time working with Ana Luisa on my channel. I have worked with them one other time earlier this year, and I was so excited when they asked to work with me again. If you have not heard of Ana Luisa before, oh my goodness, I can't wait to put you on to them. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that somehow manages to both ethically source their materials while being carbon neutral and water neutral and keeping the prices reasonable. Now, they are going to be one of what I consider to be the more luxury brands that are worth it here today, but the nice thing about Ana Luisa is while they give you a luxurious product, it's not the highest price tag. You know, I looked up the definition of luxury, and according to Oxford Languages, luxury is the state of great comfort and extravagant living. So I really feel like luxury is open to interpretation, and for me, I interpret Ana Luisa as very luxurious. It definitely makes me feel very luxurious wearing these pieces, but when I hear that they are sustainable and use a lot of recycled materials and are water and carbon neutral, I just assume that that's going to come with like hundreds of dollars on the price tag, but with Ana Luisa, it doesn't. Their earrings start as low as $39, which is a really good deal for just the quality of the materials that they're using, and I want to show you a few of my favorite pairs of earrings here today. I'm wearing one of them here. I think these earrings are so freaking pretty. I am literally obsessed with them. I've been wearing them nonstop since I got them. The style is called Paris, by the way. And these are $75 for the pair. But right now, Ana Luisa is having an amazing sale where you can save 20% off their entire website, which brings them down to $60, which for the quality of these, you guys, I mean, these are hefty. I wish you could feel these in your hands right now because this is like a weighted gold. Like they feel such high quality. I have some other jewelry that is not real gold and it does not hold up the same way that my Ana Luisa jewelry does. This necklace I'm wearing today is their heritage necklace. It actually comes in a set. You can stack the two necklaces together. I'm just wearing the smaller one right now because I'm kind of wearing it like a choker, but the fact that this still looks as beautiful as when I first got it almost a year ago hasn't faded at all. I think just really speaks to the quality of the jewelry, which is why I I feel like Ana Luisa jewelry is a worth it luxury purchase for me. I also want to show you my Farina earrings here, which have these beautiful little moons on them. They are so freaking cute. And then the jewels have like three different jewel colors. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. They're so unique. And then I also have my Nicole earrings, which look like little keys. I'm sorry, you put an inanimate object on an earring and I'm going to be obsessed with it. I think these are so cute. I'm like, where are the tiny 
tiny doors that these little tiny keys go to. I want to find them and go into their little magical world. And like I said, they're having a huge sale right now, 20% off. So now is definitely the time to check out Ana Luisa if you haven't tried them before. They make great gifts for a friend. They make great gifts for yourself. So Ana Luisa's jewelry is definitely a luxury purchase that I think is worth it. All right, so the next luxury item that I do genuinely think is worth it to spend a little more money on is a good glowy base primer. And what do you think I'm gonna talk about? What's the literal most luxurious makeup product I own? And it is my Auric Glow Lust. And this is really good timing too because they are just about to do a big restock of all of the shades. So if you missed your opportunity before and you weren't quite sure if you were gonna buy it, I'm here to tell you that yes, you should buy it. You should definitely buy it. It's so freaking good. First of all, you wanna talk about luxury? I know we were just talking about the luxurious feel of my earrings. That same luxurious feel is absolutely felt in this Auric product. First of all, look at the black and gold. Do you like how I just coordinated everything today? But anyway, if you aren't sure what this is, it is called a radiant luminizer. So I refer to it as a glowy primer and feeling like that is something that's worth a luxurious purchase. But this is supposed to be kind of like whatever you want it to be. So one thing it's not is a foundation. It's not going to add a ton of coverage to your skin. But what it does add is glow. I am wearing this product under my foundation today. I wear it as my primer every single day. No matter how glowy the foundation I'm wearing is, I still wear my Glow Lust. I can't go a day without my Glow Lust. I'm wearing one full pump on my face. I also added it as my highlight today. So that beautiful glow I have on my cheekbones right now is also Glow Lust. I just took a little baby pump and I did a little boop, 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 boop. And I even put it on my inner corners here today. It's on my brow bone, it's on my nose. It's literally everywhere. It's all over my face, but look, I'm gonna show you on my dry hand. Have you ever seen a crustier hand in your life? Probably not but I'm gonna use some of my precious glow less to show you the glow this gives and give you more of an explanation of why I think this is worth it. First of all, it's makeup that feels like skincare, which is like my freaking favorite. And I always feel like when makeup has skincare benefits, that makes the price more worth it to me because I feel like the longer you use it, the better your skin's gonna look. Look, the fact that I literally just put this on my Sahara Desert of a hand, like I cannot explain to you how dry my hands are. I do have eczema. I get the driest hands on earth the second the temperature drops below 70 degrees and it's even making my dry hand look good. It has such a smoothing quality to it which I feel like adds to why it's a more worth it luxury item because it's not just like putting a liquid highlighter all over your face. You know I've tried to find dupes for this you guys. I've really done my best to try dupes. The closest dupe is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter for Hollywood Superstar Youth Glow but that's also a luxury item but I've tried to find drugstore dupes and I just can't find any product that performs even remotely close to this. You can't just put a liquid highlighter on your face and expect this to perform the same way because this is in a league of its own. It has such a smoothing blurring quality to it. It really feels like putting a serum on but it sinks into the skin without saying sticky. Like I just put this on and it already is dried down but not dried down in a way where it's like crusty you know because we all remember those liquid highlighters of like 2018 they used to go on nice and dewy and they, they would dry down and be like crusty and gross looking you know I feel like all those cover FX drops things just looked like so crusty after they dried but this doesn't look crusty at all clearly even on my crusty hand it doesn't look crusty it's incredible and also you get so much product in this too you know so that's another way why I can like justify this luxury purchase similar to how I could with the jewelry how it's going to last me a long time and not fade the auric glow lust is also going to last me a long Long time because you get over an ounce of product in here you barely have to use any to cover your whole face I use one pump for my whole face and sometimes I even use half a pump you know if I'm using a dewier foundation so you really don't have to use a lot I've had this since January and ha I can't even see a dent in it this is something that's gonna last me a long long time and I absolutely feel like the auric glow lust is a luxury makeup product that's worth it I use the shade morganite by the way I use the original shade morganite I know they've changed it to make it a little bit lighter. My friend Tara Brooke has a video comparing the original Morganite to the new Morganite though, so I'll link that on the screen if you're curious about like how different that could look and you're not sure what shade to get. So definitely check out Tara's video and they have a ton of swatches on their Instagram, so check that out too. All right, now I am ready to talk about my last luxury item that I think is worth it before we talk about a few items.
items that I don't think is worth it to buy luxury with. And my last product is a skincare product. I want to talk to you about BHA liquid exfoliants. So if you're not sure what that means, let me give you a little science lesson. BHAs are beta hydroxy acids. Salicylic acid is the most common one of those and essentially a chemical exfoliant does what a physical exfoliant does, like a scrub does, without harming your skin barrier. Because when you use a physical exfoliant, like something with crushed walnuts in it or anything with those little beads in it, what happens is it can often leave little micro tears on your skin that aren't visible to the naked eye. So you can't see them, you don't feel like anything's happening, but over time, it's breaking down your skin barrier. And as you get older, your skin is able to repair itself a lot slower than it does when you're younger. So personally, as I've gotten older, I've switched completely to chemical exfoliants. I don't use any physical exfoliants on my face anymore, but I have tried a lot of different BHAs and I have found that the ones that have worked best for me have come with a higher price tag. But not, not a crazy high price tag, okay? We're not talking about, remember, luxury is subjective, okay? Luxury is subjective. And for me, anything over like $20 with skincare is luxury. So today I want to talk to you about a new one I've been trying, which is from Naturium, which is Susan Yara skincare brand. I also want to talk to you about the Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant because I think they are both equally good. I do like this one a little bit more, but I think they're both equally good. This one is $20. The Paula's Choice one is $30. I consider them both to be luxury items. And the reason I think it's worth it to spend a little bit more money on a BHA is because of the formulation. You know, we know The Ordinary makes really good affordable skincare products, but I think there's something to be said about a formulation that just has a little more, you know, a little more effort put into it. I have used a lot of different chemical exfoliants from The Ordinary, and while they worked okay on my skin, I noticed the biggest difference in my skin when I started using more luxury BHAs. I used the Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant for over a year before I tried a new one, and that product transformed my skin. The purging was heinous. My skin purged for like the full six weeks, and it was one of the worst my skin ever looked. This, my chin was like a nightmare zone. I had little bumps everywhere, but it's because it was pulling all of those deep, deep gunk out of my pores, you know? Like the stuff that came out of my pores was not just like surface level stuff. It was, it was deep, deep down there gunk. Sorry, I know gunk is not the most scientific term for what is deep beneath the skin's surface, but it looked like gunk to me, okay? And that Polish Choice BHA really transformed my skin. I don't have those little bumps on my chin anymore. My skin was so much smoother. My makeup applied better. It just really changed the game for me. And after using this product for over a year, I felt like I was starting to get to a place where I was a little stagnant, even though it severely got rid of a lot of the congestion in my chin. I still had some congestion in my chin and I still have a good amount of blackheads on my nose because I have dry skin but I have a combo T-zone so my nose and my forehead and my chin tend to get oilier than the rest of my face so I do get the most congestion in my pores in those areas and I felt like I'm still seeing a good amount of congestion and I watched this video from Susan Yar recently where she was showing like her pores in her nose and talking about how hard she worked to like get those pores cleaned and I was like all right I sold, I'll buy the freaking BHA, let's give it a try. And I'm so happy that I did because in the short period of time I've been using this, my skin is transformed again. Like I just, I really wish I understood the science behind formulating skincare products, but I can tell you that this BHA liquid exfoliant, which also has salicylic acid and bioactive fruit acids in it, has made such a big difference in my skin. Like let's do a zoom in. I know I'm wearing makeup, but this, I don't use beauty filters or anything. So let's take a look at this chin. I still got some bumps. You can see these bumps here. But comparatively to a few weeks ago, I mean, so much has come out of this chin. But a big thing I'm focusing on right now too is can you see this area of my face? Like, I don't really have much foundation over this. So honestly, like, look, I'll even wipe it off for you. But this is my struggle zone, my neck, my jawline. I get a ton of breakouts on. But I can say since starting to use this new Naturium BHA liquid exfoliant, this looks way better than it did just a few weeks ago. It's less painful. I'm gonna zoom out. I, just, I don't like seeing my neck move like that. 
but if you've ever had jawline acne, I don't know if you can call this acne, it might just be breakouts, I'm not sure, but if you've ever had, you know, issues with your jawline and breakouts, they can be really painful and really uncomfortable. And since I started using this, it's taken some of that pain away. The bumps have flattened, even though you can still see the redness there, because it's gonna take a long time to fade. This has made my skin feel so much more comfortable and I'm in so much less pain with the breakouts that I do have. And I owe it all to the skincare products. So this is a luxury skincare item that I 100% think is worth it. I think if you're looking for a product that's going to transform your skin, I think you should give a BHA a try. Like I said, you can either try the Naturium one or the Paula's Choice one. What's nice about the Paula's Choice one is you can buy a small one ounce size if you want to just try it out for a few months and they sell that for like $10. So you can get, you know, a taste of luxury without committing to the full size $30 product that way. Or you can just go ahead and try this $20 Naturium skincare product because I think that you will absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, I've been rambling so long that the sun is going down. It's four o'clock, by the way. So the fact that the sun is going down at four o'clock, daylight savings, I'm pissed about it, but whatever. So now I want to talk to you about a couple of products that I do not think are worth it to spend a lot of money on. And this first one probably won't surprise you. I scream about it all the time. You guys, if you're spending more than 10 bucks on a mascara, I want you to question that choice, you know, or at least explain to me in the comments what you do because I have tried so many mascaras. Mascara was the first makeup item I ever bought, and before I got really super into makeup at the end of 2017, I tried every mascara. That's the only thing I would buy at Sephora. I used to buy $20 mascaras. Urban Decay Perversion, Milk Kush Mascara, the It Superhero Mascara, the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. Like, I've tried a lot of luxury mascaras, and I just have never found one that is so much more outstanding than my drugstore mascara that I think it's worth it. You guys know my current favorite is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I think it's absolutely incredible. I have it on my lashes today. I was gonna wear false lashes today, and then I put this on and I was like, why would I need false lashes when my lashes already look this beautiful and separated and spiky like my Maybelline Sky High Mascara gives me. It also doesn't smudge even though it's not waterproof, which I love. If you see smudge right now, that is 1000% eyeshadow that I did not blend perfectly, but this is a beautiful product and doesn't smudge and it's like $8. So uh, yeah, that's a no brainer. Also, I don't have one right now, but my Essence Lash Princess Mascara is another incredible drugstore mascara. That one is cruelty free for my cruelty free friends and it's so so good they have so many different varieties of it my favorite is the one that comes in the purple package it's the curved princess mascara it is so so good it hugs your lashes so nicely it smudges a little bit but they do make a waterproof version that does not smudge at all and there's so many other good drugstore mascaras all of the l'oreal mascaras to be honest are so so good the butterfly effect one Ugh, freaking incredible. The telescopic mascara was a tried and true of mine in high school. And I just, I really don't think it's worth it to buy more expensive mascaras. I've tried so many and just none of them have justified their price in the performance. The Milk Kush Mascara, I love my good friends at Milk. You know, I love Milk makeup. The Kush Mascara just dried out so freaking quickly and compared to my Essence Lash Princess, it was so much less volumizing. Like what's the point of having a brush that big if it doesn't make your lashes voluminous. Like, I know people really like the Kush Mascara, but I would advise those people to check out Essence Lash Princess if you're looking for volume, because for me, that one gives way more volume and length than the Kush Mascara. Another high-end mascara I think can be duped by the Essence Lash Princess Mascara is the It Superhero Mascara. I got that in an Ipsy bag two years ago, and my mind was like, I'll never buy any other mascara again. This is the best mascara in the world. Look at my eyelashes. And then I tried Essence Lash Princess, and I was like, Oh, that's literally an exact dupe. Also, the Koki Mascara from the drugstore is another one that I think is a dupe for the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I just think it's so easy to dupe these high-end mascaras, you guys. You know, I'm willing to have a discussion with you in the comments. I'm always willing to discuss with you in the comments. I love talking to you guys in the comments. But if you swear by a luxury mascara that you buy over and over and over again every month, please let me know why. Let me know, you know, what the difference is and why you think it's worth it. I would love to hear from you, but in my opinion, I don't think it is ever worth it to buy a luxury mascara because you have to buy it every month and there's just so many better affordable dupes. All right, now let's talk about a skincare item that I don't think it's 
ever worth it to buy a luxury version of, and that is cleansers. I wanna to talk to you both about a cleanser that removes your makeup and a cleanser that cleans your face because you guys are double cleansing, right? You're double cleansing. You're not using one cleanser to take all your makeup off, are you? Oh gosh, I hope not. It's okay if you didn't know that. I only found out a few years ago. But if you use the same cleanser to take your makeup off, it kind of just like smudges your makeup around and everything. And even if it looks like it takes all of your makeup off, it probably hasn't. So it's good to go in with an oil cleanser or a micellar water and then go in with a regular cleanser. But that's not what this video is about. I'm talking to you about why you shouldn't spend a lot of money on cleansers. And that is because it's not sitting on your face long enough to really do anything and I find that it's better to invest your money into actives, into BHAs like the BHA liquid exfoliants I was just talking about. Those are better to invest your money into because they sit on your skin longer and therefore they work harder for you whereas a cleanser is just it's taking your makeup off you know it's taking your makeup off if you don't wear makeup it's taking off your sunscreen if you're going outside there's grime in the air so, spoiler alert, the air is not clean. There's grime in the air. You gotta wash your face regardless. And the cleanser is an important step, but it's not a step you need to spend a lot of money on. So let me tell you about an oil cleanser that I've been repurchasing for over two years now. And it is the Softimo Speedy Cleansing Oil. You can get this on Amazon for $10. Another thing I love about this cleansing oil is in order to reduce your plastic waste, you could repurchase a refill, which comes in just like a little squeezy container that you can squeeze into here and refill fill so you don't have to keep buying new pumps which is amazing it's a great product and it takes my makeup off so easily I take one pump and it takes all of my makeup off with freaking ease I'm sure I have some older skincare routine videos that I can link down below if you want to watch me do this in real time because it really is just so freaking easy I've tried my cellar waters I like this way better and I just don't think it's worth it to spend a lot of money on something that you wash off so quickly for my cleanser my second cleansing step the one that's actually cleaning my skin, I would love to recommend this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for my sensitive skin pals out there. This is so, so good. It really feels like putting a cream on your face, but it's also taking the grime off your face. When you get this freaking giant container of it for like $15, which is a great deal. But all of this to say, I don't think it's ever worth it to invest a lot of money in a cleanser. I think you're much better investing that money into something that's gonna sit on your face longer. All right, you guys, and that is all of the products I have to talk to you about today. I would love to hear what luxury items you guys think are worth it versus are not worth it. I think this is such an interesting topic. I would say I want to make this a series, but I've told you about all of the luxury items I have. Like, I don't have any more luxurious products. Um, I do have one Pat McGrath lipstick that I got three years ago on Cyber Monday, but it's when she had it on sale for $7, and I don't think it's worth $40. So there you go. That's the end of the series. But I would love to have more of a conversation with you about this. Let me know what luxury items are worth it to you. Also, don't forget to check out my description box so you make sure you get all the details on this incredible Ana Luisa sale that's going on right now. 20% off the entire site. I do have a special link down below for you that you can go check everything out on. Get yourself some jewelry. Get some jewelry for a friend this year. It's really good stuff. I really think you're going to find something that you like on their website. I'll also link all of the earrings that I showcased in this video today. Also in my description box, I will have all of the makeup on my face today as well as a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources, resources to support the Asian American community, and resources to support the LGBTQ plus community. So please check out those resources if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Luxurious goodbye to you! <laughs>